Hello everyone and welcome back to tonight's show. A lovely evening. Yes, a cool 57 degrees out there and not a cloud in sight. I gandered at the stars a while for myself and I almost forgot to come back in for the show. <laughs> Welcome. We're so excited to have you here tonight. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. It's my first time on the show. And about time, am I right? We wanted you here ever since your big leap to fame. So tell me, how are you this evening? First time in the Big Apple? Yes, yes. And it's beautiful and big. I especially love the city lights. And I'm doing fantastic, Norm. Thanks for asking. Or may I call you Norm? I've watched your show for years. It's like a dream come true for me. Wow. Who wouldn't dream of talking to me? <laughs> All right, so let's get into this. What's your next big move in your career? Another hit movie? Well, it's foreseeable. I can't say for what, but I have a couple of offers right now. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sure we can probably guess as to one of them. Your role in Dead End is phenomenal, by the way. <laughs> You're Hollywood's newest star. Tell me, how does it feel to currently be the talk of Boardwalk? How's the limelight treating you? I know you've had plenty of projects in the past that never quite picked up. Well, thank you, thank you. I've got to be honest, it's been a lot, but I'm grateful for the many opportunities opening up for me. I've wanted a shot at fame ever since I was little and had my eyes glued to Tori stay on the TV. <laughs> but now that it's real, it's just more than I imagined or even expected. All perfectly normal for a young star like yourself. There's certainly a lot more on your shoulders now. I just hope you won't crack under the pressure. the topic, would you ever consider returning for a sequel? I know fans are just dying to see more of you in this hopefully to be franchise. Well, um, given all the positive feedback, we might hypothesize something like that's in the works, oh. and I may or may not be featured, but you didn't hear that from me, of course. <laughs> oh, how devilishly exciting. Well, we hope to learn more exclusive details about this juicy new sequel right after our break. Hold on, folks. We'll be right back. Are you someone who loves batteries? But you don't have anywhere to put them. Well, you know what you need? The Battery Caddy! It's the only thing you'll ever need. It does everything. It holds your batteries. It's a hammer! It's a cozy pillow! It's your best friend! Get yours today for just $19.99 plus shipping and handling! That's right, just $19.99! Call the number on your screen now! you enjoyed those lovely words from our sponsors. We didn't see them, so we hope they were good. <laughs> Jane, how do you like that chair? Um, well, that's an odd question, Mr. Monroe. Um, yeah, it's, it's a nice chair. Well, my sources tell me that you love green furniture. I had it brought in just for you. Uh, who? Fanny yeah. Hoodle, since you can't reveal any more about a possible dead end sequel, Let's move to your latest romance. The word on the street is you've been seen around with Bobby Walker. Tell me, how's that going? Well, um, the thing is, yes, it is true. I have been seen Bobby, and he's a dream. He really is. I hope one day that I may become Mrs. Bobby Walker. <laughs> but you can never say for sure, but that'll be a real dream. Wow. That's just fantastic. Tell me more. 
What do you see in Mr. Walker? What draws you to him? Well, he's sweet and funny, and he makes me feel so safe for starters. Where's our house is supposed to go? I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, I said I'm so excited to see where this goes. And you and Bobby, that is. And how'd you meet Bobby? Oh, well, it's a funny story, really. I remember it so fondly. I was attending an event for Dead End when we literally ran into each other by the bar. His drink spilled all over my dress and my martini splattered in his face. It was hilarious, but I felt so bad and so clumsy. While we went to go fetch napkins, we naturally struck up a conversation. And by midnight, we were laughing like old friends. Isn't that just sickeningly sweet? <laughs> Makes my teeth ache, even. And speaking of chompers, Paparazzi has shown us that you and Mr. Walker have been seen around that fancy new diner across the street, the Incognito. Can we assume that was a hot and ready date? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yes it was. It was a lovely evening, and the food was lovely, and Bobby was even lovelier. You don't say. What about the paparazzi? I'm sure being an upcoming star hasn't led them astray, but uh, Bobby being next to you all the time certainly must not help. Well, it's been an adjustment for sure, but I mean, even with all the extra cameras, I'm very thankful for Bobby's protection. He handles the really um, eccentric ones and the heckler so confidently. Well, Bobby's just swelled through and through, isn't he? <laughs> Yes. So there really isn't anything that bothers you about old Bobby Head if and then gets right up under your skin like a nasty little worm. Um, no. Um, me and Bobby are very happy together. Couldn't be happier even... Even with the controversy surrounding Mr. Walker? Uh, what do you mean? Well, folks, looks like it's teletime. Call the number on your screen right now with your landline. One lucky caller will get the chance to ask Miss Meadows here anything that they want. You heard me right, folks. Anything that they want. Looks like we have a call. Hello? It's for you. Hi. Um... I'm, I'm a really big fan of, of Dead End, and um, I was just wondering, um, does Bobby ever hit you? E excuse me? Answer the uh, uh, Dang. Don't leave him hanging. I, uh, 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 uh. Whoops. Looks like we lost our connection. Thanks for your call. Remember, every time that you call us here, a dollar gets donated to the Norm Monroe Foundation, which helps keep us on air. Um, Mr. Um, Monroe, no, Norm, what? Don't touch that dial, folks, because we'll be right back after this short break. <laughs> Do you see something lurking in the shadows? Is there something skittering through your room at night? You need fart spray. Get rid of those pesky buggers in seconds. Just release the lid and spray, spray, spray. You could spray yourself, your home, your office. Keep it in your bag and keep the farts away. Call now and be Bart free. Bart Spray is a proud partner of the Norm Monroe Show.
concludes our show for tonight, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope to see you tomorrow night, where we'll be interviewing our next victim, <coughs> the guest, Bobby Walker. Hope to see you then. Thank you.